Have you ever been watching a sitcom and seen where the character lives and think to yourself, there's no way that character with that supposed job lives in this amazing apartment? And that is why we are profiling sitcom apartments and finding their real life character counterparts in Only in Real Life. Let's go. Today we are meeting a real life Jerry Seinfeld, my favorite show from the 90s. So I'm kind of psyched to see what a real working stand-up comic in New York City looks like. He's on the Upper West Side, he's been on Letterman, he's pretty much amazing. So his house is amazing, I don't really know what to expect yet, here we are. And he's Jewish, we've actually found a real life Jerry Seinfeld. Hello Wasser. Hello Newman. <laughs> I like your place, Lenny. Thanks, Wasser. You're welcome. You did good. Thanks for coming. So tell us about who you are, what you, come on, brag a little. I'm Lenny Marcus. I've been a stand-up comedian for almost 18 years here in New York City. I run around to the clubs and, and do shows every night. So you are our real life Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, well that's, uh, that's pushing it a little bit. He's famous, but that's very sweet. So tell me about this apartment. I think it was a converted hotel back in the, I want to say the 30s. And um, so like some of the walls are very solid. And then if you go over like, here, uh, that wall's solid, but then this wall. That's so weird. So if you ever have to leave in a hurry, just <laughs> run right through. So what is your favorite part about this apartment? The, the size of this room is, the, is my favorite part. I didn't want to live like a lot of comics live with roommates and stuff. And I was like, look, um, I was an advanced systems engineer. Can I live like a human being as a comic? So I like, I need a bigger space. But what I gave up on was, well, you, like the kitchen area. So that is a, it's not. All right, let's go this way. You passed it on the way in. I don't think I could go in there with you. Yeah, you can. Okay. Here I go. Welcome to the kitchen. Thanks. You are Jerry Seinfeld. So you like cereal? He likes cereal. His kitchen was a little bit different than yours. Yeah, he had a big, bigger kitchen. But he didn't cook either. When did he cook on that show? Not once. Not they once. They made did sandwiches. Cook. They definitely made sandwich. sandwiches. Well, I can make you a sandwich. Could you make me a sandwich? I could make you a sandwich. Home. You'd have to leave the room. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a fire hazard. Probably. I'm pretty positive that this kitchen is a fire hazard. All right, next room. Next room. Next room. The bedroom. I like it. Thanks. You have really nice art and it's spacious and light. And you have, this is awesome. Oh, I thanks. mean, how many people have this? Not so many. Well, my goal in comedy was to do the show and, uh, and did the show. Boom. There it is. What was it like to perform on Letterman? It was uh, everything I thought it was going to be. You know, it was like the, the culmination of a lot of hard work and uh, a lot of fun. Going. Where do you write your jokes? Well, I, here's my here's my joke is that uh, this is where everything happens. This is where nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I write at the desk. I feel like this is like the late night desk, and now I'm a I'm, guest. You're the guest on the show. I'm a guest at your desk. Well, Erica, I see you're on a show called Spaces. Yeah. How's that going? It's really good. We get to go to awesome people's. We'll be homes. right back with somebody more famous. After. <laughs> <laughs> What is your favorite part about being a comedian? You know, on a beautiful Tuesday afternoon, I'm outside rather than in an office building. I, I really like it. By outside, do you mean behind me? I can be out there. Out on the balcony. Is, let's do this balcony. Yeah. This is awesome. Thanks. The architecture across the street is really amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. That's the, um, that building is the Ansonia Hotel. A lot of famous, you know, uh, artists back in the day lived in there. It was one of the famous pieces of the Upper West Side. So the view of life of a stand-up comic doesn't look too bad, if you ask me. Well, I got lucky with this apartment back in the day, and it's expensive now. So you have to work really hard to keep it. I have to say, your apartment, Seinfeld's apartment, from what we know of it, I mean, you're kind of on track. Uh, it's going all right. It's going all right. Let's <laughs> keep it like that. I'd like to keep the apartment and the career's going well, so let's keep it rolling, you know. Check out Lenny Marcus, LennyMarcus.com. He's on Facebook and Twitter and Letterman. He's amazing. Thanks again, and we'll see you guys soon. Hope you guys enjoyed Only in Real Life. Now we know that this is how Seinfeld could have probably lived.
You've been watching Spaces. Be sure to keep watching by subscribing to our channel. Click here below.